here on this Monday, February 5th. We take a live look over Southfield. All the freezing fog we had this morning long gone. Some clouds have stuck around a little bit, though. Let's check in with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Marissa Wallace, and we've been talking about this unseasonably warm weather. Yes, and we're really not going to look at any major changes coming, honestly, not only in the next week, but maybe even the next two weeks. Maybe we'll get colder by the end of the month, but honestly, we're looking at mild conditions. Uh, right now, across the region, downtown Detroit, where we've had some cool views over the last 24 hours of the fog kind of moving in and then lifting, and now we are looking at overcast conditions. Temperatures across the the region. Most of us are in the 20s right now. Still, or excuse me, I should say most of us are in the 30s. A few of us are in the 20s. 28 right now in Howell. Otherwise, we again have the 30s, our warmest spot at least here listed Mount Clemens at 37 degrees. But we do have cloudy skies across the area. It's mainly the eastern part of our state. Of course, you can see more sunshine off to the west. A lot of this is just cloud cover that will continue to hang around as we head into the rest of the day today and this evening. But there is some hope that we'll see a few peaks of the sunshine as these clouds try to break apart later this afternoon and into the evening. The question is, can we do it before sunset? So that's the one thing we'll have to look out for. As we continue taking a look here, I do think Futurecast is kind of overdoing the amount of clearing that we'll have, but at least it's now being optimistic. Yesterday it was not being optimistic, but we will hold on to some clouds with a few peaks of the sunshine coming in late this afternoon. Otherwise, more clouds come back in tonight. I do expect in the, another cloudy start to the day tomorrow, maybe a few areas of fog. Otherwise, Otherwise, we will hopefully see some clearing as well as we head late into the day on Tuesday. And I know there's a little bit uh, in my voice um, some uncertainty being like, are we going to see the sunshine or not? Just with this overall weather pattern and really no systems coming through to help mix things up. It really kind of depends on if we just get enough warming or if we get enough of a wind in a certain direction to see that clearing. So today, a good chance to keep the clouds tomorrow, a better chance to see a bit more sunshine. Temperature wise, though, despite having all the clouds, we are going to be looking at highs in the low 40s and upper 30s this afternoon, cooler than what we saw yesterday by about 10 degrees, but still running warmer than average. Our average high now is up to 33 degrees. Tonight we're back down into the mid to upper 20s, also warmer than average. Average low is 19, so it will be warmer than that. We keep the 40s as we move into Tuesday, Wednesday, mid 40s, still more clouds across the area, and then 50s are expected Thursday and Friday. We will be close to the record high temperature on Friday. It's a lower one at 56 degrees, so we'll see if we get there. But with the 50s, we're also going to be looking at some rain showers moving in, arriving late in the day on Thursday, and then we'll see scattered rain showers Thursday night into Friday. But with, again, the 50s, we're not concerned at all about sleet or freezing rain or snow. It will just be scattered rain showers, which will likely linger into Friday night. After that, though, drier weather expected for the weekend with highs back into the 40s. Alicia? All right. Thank you, Marissa.